Good morning. Welcome to another Noon Day devotion. I'm going to wish for you a, a blessed weekend. Um, as we pause at this moment to meditate, to pray, and to hear God speaking to us. So we are happy that you have joined us. Um, and we hope that this meditation, this time together, will be a blessing for you. We are happy to be able to reach you wherever you are. Welcome. The service is all there printed for you, and I invite you to respond, because the responses are always in your disposal. The call to worship. The God of the prophets. Call us today. Call us into your ways of love, justice, and righteousness. God of the poets, remind us again how much you love us. Sing to us your ways of love, justice, and righteousness. God of the disciples, Teach us how to follow you. Teach us your ways of love, justice, and righteousness. God of all creation, help us to know your ways. We gather to hear your call, to sing your praise, to learn your ways, to worship and pray. Let us pray. You call us wonder of seashores and sidewalks, inviting us to sail out of our smug harbors into the uncharted waters of faith, to wander off from our predictable past to follow you into the unpredictable footsteps of the kingdom, to leave the comfort of our homes and accompany you into the uncomfortable neighborhoods we usually avoid. As we wait, in our simple, sometimes crazy, constantly uncertain lives, speak to us, Spirit of Grace, of that hope which is our anchor, of that peace which is our rock, of that grace which is our refuge. Amen. Our scripture reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 4, verses 18 to 25. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. As he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately, they left their nets and followed him. As he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. And he called them. Immediately, they left their boat and their father and followed him. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all the sick, 
those who were afflicted with various diseases and the pains, demoniacs, epileptics, and the paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Meditation from our gospel reading today. Two years ago, Byron Smith who is now our parish treasurer, said, I believe we should make a call on all young people who play an instrument and or sing, and therefore form a youth band. He interpreted the situation very well. We live in a musical community. Our children and youth are involved musically in school, at schools and in festivals. Some of them playing up to three instruments. The call was made for guitar, piano, flute and drum players and singers. They responded to that call. Today, they named themselves as the Refuge Band, Hope, because their intention is to bring hope to the community, to the church, and to other young people. We're happy because we watch them practice on a weekly basis. We also experience them in our worship as they lead in singing. They are also invited at times to share in community events. And we thank Byron for facilitating this. What we recognize is that they have been able to repurpose those gifts and talents in the life of the church. That's a call, and that's also a response. In our reading today, Jesus calls two sets of fishermen, Simon and Andrew, and James and John. He called them by the Sea of Galilee. Follow me, he says, and I will make you fishers of people. They followed Jesus. Jesus invites them to be who they are and to use what they have and what they know best. They are fishermen. And he speaks to them in their language, the language that they know best, the language of fishing. Come, and I will make you fish for people. The fishing enterprise requires stuff such as patience, resilience, methodology, of course. And we know that the sea, the deep waters, it, it does pose its own dangers. Jesus calls them. And in his calling, he's reminding them of that very situation, that they need patience, resilience methodology also that it can be a dangerous path jesus calls my friends he calls every day every moment he calls us individually and collectively he calls us in particular and he calls us in general he calls us where we are he calls us sometimes from where we are at to where he is. 
He calls us with our own personality, gifts, talents, career. He calls us to leave one enterprise and to join something new. He is ushering a new age. And he calls us to be part of it and to play our part in it. In these times of isolation, there is a call on all of us. There's a call on the church to use our gifts in new ways. How might that call be relevant to you? What is Jesus asking you to do? Are you responding? Are you following? Think on these things. Amen. Now, invite us to pray. And our prayer is written by Walter Brueggemann, one of our biblical scholars. You are the God who makes extravagant promises. We relish your great promises of fidelity and presence and solidarity. And we exude in them. Only to find out always too late that your promise always comes in the midst of a hard, deep call to obedience. You are the God who calls people like us. And the long list of mothers and fathers before us who trusted the promise in us to keep the call. You call us, make us faithful. So we give you thanks that you are a calling God. You cause always to dangerous new places. We pray enough of your grace and mercy among us that we may be among those who believe your promises enough to respond to your call. You call us, make us faithful. We pray in the one who embodied your promise and en enacted your call, even Jesus. Amen. And now as our Savior has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I also invite us to share in this litany of call. The buzz of the world interrupts our lives and fills our ears. Call us into your way of life, O oh God. The complaints of others settle in our mind and cloud our vision. Lead us into your vision of life, O oh God. The cries of the poor, the oppressed, and the outcast pierce our hearts. Guide us into your example of living for others, O oh God. Fill our hearts with our, fill our hearts, fill our eyes, fill our ears with your love, O oh God. Let us be your hands and feet in the world, O oh God. And now the blessing. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. To remind you that tomorrow, the 3rd of May, which is the fourth Sunday of Easter, 
the tri parishes of Bear Roberts School is Point, Shearstone, and Porter Grave will be sharing in a morning prayer from the BA BAS together as we continue to find new ways of doing things together. At 12 noon tomorrow as well, there'll be a celebration of praise focused for children and youth. Today, May 2, is the birthday of Mrs. Olive Barrett. And we want to give a shout out to Mrs. Barrett as we say happy birthday to her and wish her every blessings for today and for the years to come. Happy birthday, Olive. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And have for yourselves the most blessed day.
in thanks to Martin the group for permission to use his hymns and the first hymn is on my vision one of his hymns and uh, thanks also to the our combined choir um, the choir from the two churches um, for the, the final anthem be not 